Okay, dancers, here's the third video and the final video. Um, so this is going to show you how to sew your elastic to your shoe. First, I need to burn the edges of my elastic, so I'm gonna show you how to do that one more time. Okay, have your fingers a little further away from the edge. I had mine too close like this, and you can really feel the heat of the flame. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Make sure that you have an adult with you when you do this, okay? So you just melt the edge, just like that. And I'm gonna do the other side. And remember, you can also use clear nail, nail polish. See how the, the, I never actually put the elastic in the flame. It's always just hovering right above it, okay? So it doesn't catch on fire. It's really important. So the next thing that you're going to do is I have some extra thread that I didn't use when I was sewing my ribbons. So I'm just going to make a little, I have these two ends because I cut the ends when I made my knot in the ribbon. So I'm going to make a knot in the end of this thread. So I told you I lick my fingers. I roll them together. I loop it around my finger so that it looks like that it's crossed over itself. And then I just kind of roll it all up together. And then I pull up the top all the way to the bottom and I have a knot. Don't ask me how it works, I just know it works. <laughs> so now what you're going to do is you're gonna take your elastic and I accident, I made a mistake. So where you find the placement of your elastic is the same way that we found our placement for our ribbon, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your thumb. You see this back seam right here? Well, you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna place it right on the, hmm, how do I show this to you? It's a little hard, huh? You're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna place it right on the edge of that seam and then on the outside of your thumb, you're gonna make a mark. This second mark is incorrect, so don't look at that. It's this, this black mark right there, okay? This one is the one that we're gonna use, okay? And where that mark is, just like with your ribbons, okay, is going to be where the outside edge of your elastic goes. Now we folded our ribbon in, uh, we folded our ribbon over in the previous, um, when we sewed our ribbons, but this time with your elastic, the elastic is quite a bit stronger, so we don't need to fold the elastic, okay? You're just going to place the elastic on the inside of your shoe, and you see this, um, you should have some fabric folded over like this, and you want it to be um, you want to have enough elastic um, past the top of your shoe so that it goes a little bit past that um, this piece of fabric here, if you can see. All right, it should be about an inch. All right, about an inch. You want about an inch of your elastic um, down past the down um, in the shoe, inside the shoe. Okay, so once again, we never ever sew our elastics and our ribbons on the outsides of our shoes, always on the insides of our shoes, okay? So we're gonna do exactly the same um, start for our elastic that we did for our ribbon, okay? So you're gonna take the edge of your elastic, let me do this, okay? And you're going to put the needle in so that it goes through both the elastic and the shoe, okay? You're gonna pull it out on the other side. And then you can see that there's my thread that came out and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the ribbon. You're gonna find where the edge of your elastic is, which is right here, and you're gonna put the needle in just on the outside of that so that when it comes back through, it's actually not there, you can see it there. It's actually not coming through your elastic. It's just going through your shoe, okay? And you're gonna make several loops again, okay? So you're gonna loop it about three times. I'm only gonna do it two times here, okay? 
So it goes through the shoe and the elastic, and then it goes through just the shoe. Okay. And I'll do it, that should be in, let me see here, that should be good. So it looks just like, like that, okay. There's my knot, here's my knot right here, and then you have the loop of your thread. And you're just going to do the same thing all the way across your elastic, okay? So all you're going to do is you're going to make a stitch. If you can see, my stitch is, is kind of just outside of my previous stitch. And you're just going to do the same thing that you did. You're gonna take where um, the thread came out and you're gonna take the needle and just bring it up just a little bit over and you're just gonna walk that needle and your thread all the way across the elastic to the other side of the shoe. Okay, so you can see that it came out here, okay? And I'm just gonna walk it over a tiny, tiny, tiny step and put it back through and this Remember, when you're doing this, it should be going through both your shoe and the elastic the whole time, okay? That's how we get it to secure to the shoe. And you're just going to keep on going across until you reach the other side of your elastic. Okay. You can probably hear my crazy cats running around. <laughs> um, all right. I, that was about the same as the ribbon. I, it took me about two, three stitches to get across. Not very long, okay, here's where I started. And then here's two little stitches and now I'm already at the edge of my elastic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle and you're going to stick it just through the shoe. So you're gonna find the edge of your elastic you're going to stick the needle just through the shoe, not through the elastic. Okay, so there it is. Here's my elastic. Here's my needle. It's just outside my elastic right here. And you're going to pull it. And then you're going to take the needle and you're going to bring it back through the elastic and the shoe. Okay, right about, here's where my um, last stitch was, right there. You're gonna bring it just, I'm gonna bring mine just inside that stitch. And you're just gonna create about three loops again. Okay, so there's my needle, it came out again. It went through the shoe and the elastic, and now you're gonna take the needle and bring it through just the shoe again, okay? Oops, just the shoe, there we go. And do one more. And then, let me move this a little bit so you can see. Then you're just gonna make a knot like you did last time. You're gonna loop it, okay, you're gonna loop it. So cross one end of the thread over another, it doesn't really matter which one. Bring the needle through the middle, and then you're gonna get this kind of knot. I push it all the way down and I pull on the needle at the same time, oops, that didn't work. Sorry, hold on, let me do that one more time. So here's my little knot, oh my goodness, my cat. Go, go, go. And you're going to put your finger, sorry for the cat, right there on the knot, and then you're going to, oh my goodness, Pandora. <laughs> you're gonna pull, pull the thread and the needle all the way. Well, it's not working right now because the angle is fun funny. I'm just gonna do it like this. There you go. And you should have a big knot at the end of your shoe. And you're just going to cut it like you did last time. And after you cut it, that's your elastic. So one side of your shoe is completely done. Now you just have to do the other side, okay? I've shown you how to do one side and you just do the same on the other side. You connect the elastic on this side and you take a second piece of ribbon and you put it on this side and then you're done sewing your first one side of your shoes. All right, 
See you guys in class. Bye.